Hi, and welcome to the Zumo Z40 Nature Troubleshooting Guide. If you're experiencing decreased performance from your Zumo Z40 or it's not working correctly, the first thing you want to do is locate where the error is coming from. It will either be from external parts, a fruit jam, or on rare occasions from internal issues. If it is an external part, you'll get an error message with a flashing machine part. To locate where the error is coming from, check the CPU at the front of the machine to see which part of the machine is flashing. External parts are fit with magnets that tell the machine if it's assembled correctly. The screen will normally display without any flashing messages when everything is installed correctly. Find the flashing part and take it off to see if it is broken, missing a magnet, or simply not placed onto the machine correctly. The different external part errors are displayed for the top external basket, the left and the right side covers, the front cover, the juice tank, and the left and right chutes. Now we will show you where the magnets are located on the following parts. The front of the external basket has a metal arrow pointing down to the plastic arrow on the lid of the machine, with a magnet just to the left of that. Side cover magnets are on top of the side covers. The front cover magnet is at the top center left of the front cover. The adapt tray magnet is at the back left of the tray. And both side chutes have magnets which touch the machine body when they are in the correct position. A correctly assembled machine with parts in the correct position will look like this. Other errors that can occur are jams indicated by the following error message. As you can see, it is not showing a part, but a tool symbol. This generally happens when the cups are in a downward position and is usually associated with incorrect assembly or an incorrect fruit size being used. The first thing to check is that the same size cups and domes are being used on the machine. There are three different squeeze kits that have corresponding domes, cups and classifiers that should all be used together. All parts have a measurement to indicate which kit they belong to and the cups and domes are color coded. The regular size kit is size 53 to 76 and orange. The large kit is size 64 to 88 and colored red. The extra large kit is size 77 to 100 and colored pink. Any wrong combination of the three kits can cause jamming issues with the machine. To diagnose, we will need to unblock the jam and then remove the front cover to check the color and measurements of the cups and domes. To unblock a jam when the cups are in the downward position, First switch the machine off from the back and then turn it back on. Oftentimes this resolves the jam. If a jam occurs again straight away or soon after, then we want to manually clear the jam so we do not cause any internal damage. To manually clear a jam, turn the machine off and get the T-handled Allen key from under the machine. If you can't locate the supplied Allen key, then any 5mm Allen key will work. Remove the rubber cap on the right side of the machine and place the Allen key into the hole until you feel it connect. Always begin by rotating clockwise first. If you feel that there is too much resistance, try rotating counterclockwise, but do not force the machine if it is too tight. As you turn the Allen key, you'll see that you are manually controlling the machine and lifting the cups from the domes and the stuck fruit. This will allow you to remove the fruit and determine what caused the jam. Check to see if the jam was caused by the incorrect combination of cups and domes, the fastening nuts not being attached to the cup shafts, the fruits being too big for the cups, or the domes not being wound down all the way. If all of this checks out and you find it particularly hard to manually wind the machine, internal damage may have been caused. The cup shafts are held on by a circlip to stop them from being pushed in and out of the machine. If a particularly bad jam has occurred, the circlip can snap. To determine this, disassemble the machine, grab one of the cup shafts and apply gentle force to push it in and out of the machine. As you can see, the right shaft has a snap circlip while the left is still intact. The circlip is inside of the machine and requires a Zumo technician to attend. At this point, it's time to contact your Zumo technician. A third circlip exists on the top shaft that drives the rotating fruit basket. This can break when the incorrect fruit sizes are being used with the classifier or if a fastening nut has not been secured to the top shaft screw. If it is broken, the machine will be out of alignment, resulting in fruits being dropped into the cups out of timing. The conical gear will also lift, resulting in decreased performance. If a circlip on the top shaft is broken, it's easy to diagnose. Check to see if there is a whole clip around the shaft, shown on the left, or if it's missing, shown on the right. Please note that the incorrect size classifier can also result in fruits being dropped down out of timing. If the circlip is broken, or if the machine still appears to be out of alignment, then it's time to call your Zumo technician. If you are not getting any power at all to your Zumo when switched on from the back, first make sure the power cable is correctly attached. 
If it is connected correctly but still not working, try swapping the cable to another one. If you still get no power, check that the fuse in the back of the machine has not been blown. The fuse sits inside of the housing where the power cable enters the machine. Using a small flathead screwdriver, open the fuse housing to see if it is blown. There is a spare fuse inside of the housing allowing you to swap them over if there is an issue. That concludes the Zumo Z40 diagnosis. If your issue is still not resolved, please call the service department on 1300 986 666 and dial through to 3.